This is the beginning of taking this, the framework, and you can see potentially an old door. That would have been where the heel of a door went in. But what's really cool is finding these old hand-forged nails. So when they originally poured the cement, the frame would have had these hammered into the wood and going that way. So when they poured in the cement, it surrounded this and this to hold the frame in place. So, I mean, it's incredible. And then when this lat was taken off, we discovered these huge hand forged pegs that go through this. So they would have been hammered in when this frame was made before the cement was poured. So it could potentially go from there all the way back in here. So we have to be really careful. And here, this was what we found. Isn't that beautiful? Hand forged, one of these kind of stake things. And that was in the cement. That was for the original door, probably. So it's kind of interesting. And then on this side, there, it was underneath that lat that was there. There's another one of those pins. And here you can see more hand forged nails that were hammered into this before this was uh, poured so that it went through. I've had to clothe all my tender people because it's really, really frosty out at the moment. There's the door. The temporary door is out. The cat was lying on it a minute ago. So this is the work site for today and the beginnings of the takedown of the old, nearly 100 year old door frame. But it's fascinating all these finding out how they constructed these things. These are all old hand forged nails and spikes. So we don't want to make it too wobbly in the brutality of taking it down. He, the guy is taking it down really, really gently. So, cause we don't want this whole apparatus to crumble. And like I said, I think we put that in, I put, got that put in about um, 15 years ago. You can see it's on both sides. So there we go. The beginnings of the takedown of the door. Isn't that right, Inca? Yeah. Yeah. Clever girl. No, we're not going to get them out. Now, there are think. We can't take this out, which is a real pain in the arse because it's a beautiful hand forged. So what's thought is it goes back in here and there's a curl keeping it in here in the cement. They sure as heck knew how to build in those days. The board is shaggers. Hand forged. Is there threads on it? There are threads on it. Cool. Oh, there's, yeah. Cool. It's That's, a forged you nut, know, ain't it? Yeah. Square nut. And there we have it. The clean door. No frame. We angle grinded this stud out. But you can see, oh look, that's a bit of a, a vine grew in there. So there we go. The door frame vacancy. This is where we took out the one, just so we knew we're gonna put that cement in there, or the lads are. But you can see the poured cement and how they did it. They really did know how to construct in those days. I'm very grateful there's no wind and it's sunny so that all my babies won't get frosty leaves. Isn't that right, Maya? So yeah, now the next stage is to smooth off the frame and then put in uh, the constructed frame that has been made over the last couple of weeks. Anyway, that's the next stage. There we go.
Okay, so there is the remnants. And here is the new door frame. And look at all the dust. Angle grinding the edges all the way up there. And that's cemented in. We're gonna chop these up for kindling wood and firewood. When I brought it over, I realized, look at that. That's one of those old forged nails is in there. And it was holding one of the joins together. So there, another beautiful hand forged nail. And you can see where it was exposed to the weather because the rotting of the timber. See, it was the timber was rotting. Beautiful old hand forged nail. Another one. Well, we've got the door frame in before lunch. You can see there's gaps right there. Those will have filler. We're going to put a filling grout in it. Well, I'm not, but the lads are. This is just to hold the gap correctly. And then there will be, we're going to have a cement footing there. And then we're going to put a step in here with a slope. So this is, it's now been screwed into the side. Those screws are really, really long. You can see here, these are the screws. So they've gone in like that far. So that's the, so there we go. The beginning of the door. Well, the door frame's in. The next stage will be the door. Yay, so exciting. So exciting. And this is a template that he had all the measurements on. So you can see the heights of the doors and it's a template to keep. So he has the connections of the doors. You can see his measurements there. So it's looking great. Yay, nearly done. My goodness, it's looking very Gothic. <laughs> We haven't put the bolts in yet. I'm gonna have to dye my hair black and put on some makeup that makes me look goth. So we're gonna put a bolt across here and on the inside, look at this, there we go. And this is what it looks like from the inside. Hello, you go. No, no, you stay out. So this. There. One day I'll be able to cut panels out and put stained glass windows or just clear windows in it. But it's definitely looking very goth. <laughs> but it matches the black. I painted everything black. It absorbs the heat. So there we go. Oh, you wiggler. <laughs>